I'm Megan. And I'm Nicole. And we're both HPA1s and the founders of Roll Up Solution Bank. I think it's been a really amazing experience. I think that some people are really intimidated about starting a business as a student, but there's a lot of ways that you can leverage help in your community, especially like we've been really overwhelmed by how much people in the community have been willing to help us and build this mission and, and build our company. And so it's been really, really great. And I think that being a student, if anything, is a really great way to leverage a lot of support. For sure. I think being a student entrepreneur is really the best time to do it, just to reiterate Megan, the connections we've made in the community and the support and partnerships we've received out of that are really invaluable. Um, and I think it's also just a really exciting time. Uh, you're surrounded by so many people and so many great ideas. Uh, it's a really exciting and unique opportunity to actually be able to take one of your own ideas and, and see it actually be implemented and become something real. So it, it's been absolutely amazing so far. So we actually both worked in nonprofit last summer full time. Uh, I worked for Enactus Canada and, and Nicole worked for United Way and so she can speak to that later but I think the biggest thing is like working having a full-time job and working on the company simultaneously was pretty similar in terms of being a full-time student and, and working on it and so it was a bit of more of a challenge because our team was spread across Canada and so we leveraged digital technology in order to, to make it possible so we're really happy to be back in London right now and, and really starting to build it again. And, I was really glad to have the opportunity to work for Enactus Canada for a second summer around because again, it was being surrounded by entrepreneurship every single day and people that really make entrepreneurship happen for students and so I really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, just really the exact same thing that Megan said. It, it can be difficult to work 9 to 5 and then have to come home and work <laughs> 6 to 11, uh, but it's definitely worth it because I find it's more of like a passion project and it really gets you where you want to go and you get to connect with people uh, that you find interesting and the, the causes that you really care about. Um, so even during the school year in the summer, I find it is a bit of a grind and it's tiring, but it's really worth it in the end because you're working towards something that actually adds value. Yeah, and I, I think the fact that Nicole and I both worked in nonprofit as well gives us a really good appreciation yeah. for social entrepreneurship because we have all this great business knowledge that we're gaining at Ivy, but having the nonprofit understanding as well, I think is what really inspired us to start a social enterprise and use business as a positive power in the world. So we have a really unique sort of setup in terms of our operations. So we've actually outsourced most of our operations to Goodwill, which has been like a key success factor, I believe, because when we don't really know how to upcycle wheelchairs, however, Goodwill does. And so it's really been really helpful in the sense that they're going to be doing a lot of the day to day and then we're managing sort of the collection side and the resale side. And so it is a challenge to make up for it. However, it's actually nice that our schedules are finally aligned because that, that makes scheduling way easier. <laughs> yeah, it's actually been a big contrast between last year and this year because last year and second year had a bit more free time. Um, and we were still in the ideation stage of Rolled Up, so everything was new and exciting. We were going to meetings and finding <laughs> new partners, and we were really doing the big idea strategy stuff, which, it, which is really what I find entrepreneurs thrive on. Uh, but this year, starting with Ivy, it's a lot less free time, and we're more down to like the nitty-gritty, like supplier relationships and timing and logistics. Um, so it's been a little bit less stressful, but um, also kind of a lot more work, so there's a lot more back and forth uh, and a little bit more nerves now that we're actually ramping up to begin production mm -hmm. uh, this week. So. Just different, but both good. Yeah, I think the biggest thing I would like to say is like, if not now, when? Like, this is a great opportunity. You're at a great facility. You're on a great campus. There's lots of support. And so, if you have an idea, you should run with it, and you should see what you can do with it now that you have the free time and you don't have a mortgage or kids or family or anything like that in order. To, so, because you, you really do have the time right now. And in terms of like picking that idea, everyone says, "Oh, I can't be an entrepreneur because I don't have like my great idea yet." Well, then there's so many opportunities on campus. Go to events, go to Propel, go to all these different things and you'll meet your co-founder and you'll come up with your great idea. And once you have that idea, make sure you're passionate about it because that's what's gonna drive you through like the long, hard nights is knowing that this is something that you really care about. And also, I think it's important that you remember to just take your time and do it at your own pace. I find being a student entrepreneur, there's a lot of pressure to fail quick and fail fast and just go so quickly through the idea, but I think that's what intimidates a lot of people and actually stops people from entering into the world of entrepreneurship. So I think as a student, if you're a little hesitant, I think to, to go forward with your idea, but move at your own pace. We've been chipping away at Roll Up now for a year and we're just entering into production now, but I think that's what's enabled us to do it right and really be ready uh, to start production and sale. So just take your time and you'll get there eventually. I think if you rush through it, um, uh, you won't finish at all.
going to soundbite your line of leveraging digital technology and turn this into a business meme compilation. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Uh, oh, I will.